It is week five of me playing Cheap Kairos, my completely free to play account that I am not allowed to spend any money on. I've got a lot of goals, but my ultimate goal is to completely max out this account as fast as possible. That means upgrading all of my brawlers all the way and unlocking every single brawler in the game. <laughs> it is day 29 and I've got a big goal for this episode. I want to push to 10,000 trophies by the end of week five. You can see on brawlify.com that I actually made a massive push yesterday from 8,000 trophies to 8,650 trophies. And uh, that was all off camera. but. I saved the best part for you. Brock is now at 500 trophies. Colt is now at 500 trophies. Gale is at 500 trophies. Dynamite's at 500 trophies. And Shelly's at 500 trophies. You'll notice that all of those were power one, <laughs> except for Shelly. I guess she was power two. But uh, yeah, that was hard because they removed duels from the game, at least for right now. They'll be back later, but uh, right now it's uh, wipeout instead. So I'm gonna have to push all these power one brawlers up to 500 trophies uh, in showdown, and that's gonna be really hard. But it's a really important to my goals for two reasons. First of all, I am limiting who can actually join my club based off of my total trophy count. Once they join, they can climb higher trophies than I am, but nobody can join unless they are at my trophy count or lower so that we can get more competitive players based off of my trophy count. And we're going to want more competitive players when we get into higher leagues for club league. But there's an even more important reason for this, and that is the fact that I want to reach 10,000 trophies for that fat stack of 920 credits. This is the, the final fat stack of credits that you get in the trophy road. And at that point, that's what I consider to be leaving early game and entering into mid game. It'll also put a lot of progress into my next mythic brawler. And I've done the math and I might be able to unlock my legendary by the end of the season, but uh, we'll have to find out. So that's like my goal for this whole episode. But my number one priority always is to get as many tokens as possible. Okay, there's 71 trophies for bull. We got some club quest points and 780 tokens. And that is the last of the tokens that I have for available for today, at least. Let's go ahead and grab some rewards right here in the trophy road. We got some power points some gold, some credits that are going to get us closer to M's. We're also going to go here. Can we get it? We cannot. Oh my gosh. We're <laughs> so close. But we did get some power points, some chroma credits, some gold, and we're just, we're two away from it. That's all we need. Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. It is day 30, I guess technically a month, even though last episode was my one month video because, you know, four weeks, 28 days, 30 days, you get the same. It's, it's all a month. Let me tell you, the grind continues, but now El Primo is at 500 trophies. You know what? There's just no way I'm going to beat him. There's, there's no way. <laughs> you know, actually, maybe I could have beat him. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Now, Barley is also at 500 trophies, and that means that we are <laughs> finally able to get our next brawler. Okay. Okay, 120 credits going towards M's. And I have been thinking about this. Okay, there's a big part of me that wants to go with Pam. I really like Pam. She's like one of my favorite brawlers, but I think if I'm gonna be having a lot of brawlers at power one, M's actually makes a little bit more sense. So we'll we'll stick to M's and we're on to our next mythic brawler. Mortis is really fun to play. Terra's pretty good, but Max is like by far a better option than both of them. And now we're just 1,000 trophies away from reaching that goal of 10,000. Okay, 72 trophies on M's, 534 tokens. That's all the available tokens that I have for today. We're getting really close to Mandy, even though I can't get her because I don't have the Brawl Pass. Okay, M's is at 206 trophies, and I've got to say, I really am enjoying these lower trophy pushes with these <laughs> low brawlers. It is really hard to push these Power 1 brawlers. I am enjoying myself, though. There's a sense of satisfaction of getting all of these Power 1 brawlers to 500 plus trophies, and once I pass that 10,000 mark, everything is going to change. Now, this might surprise you, but thankfully, I'm really close to Unlocking a new brawler. It is day 31, and I've actually been looking forward to today for a long time, um, surprisingly. Okay, uh, here's why we're super close to this. But first, I've got to do some quests. Give me something that I like. I like that. <laughs> but you know what I like even more? Getting 1,016 <laughs> tokens in a single drop. That is very nice. Okay, it is time. We got some credits. We have some chroma credits. I can't believe it. It is day 31, and we already have enough chroma credits for our second chromatic brawler. And this is actually a really tough call. Surge is probably who most people should go for between these two choices, but there is a reason why I'm actually really heavily considering Colette. These right here are the stats of a completely maxed out a Colette, power 11, okay? You'll notice the attack damage is 37% of the remaining health on the enemy brawler. Now here is a power one Colette, also 
37% damage. The minimum damage is less, her health is less, but the percentage of damage is the same. So a power one Colette is just as strong as a power 11 Colette minus her gadgets, star powers, and gears. If you ignore the minimum damage and obviously her health, right? Like if you can dodge attacks, then she's actually very valuable at power one. But here's the thing, at power one, even though she's dealing just as much damage, she's still a huge liability. So it's not like I'm going to be playing her at power one. And she's really only competitive in heist or as a tank counter. And I have other options. Plus, she's actually not one of my favorite brawlers to play. I don't really like playing Colette very much. So I am going to go with Surge. I wouldn't put a bunch of resources into either one, at least not for a while anyway. Plus, Surge, honestly, I think he's more fun. So <laughs> we're going to go with it. Surge is my second chromatic brawler. And uh, we've got some more choices later on here. It's just, actually, I know who I'm going to pick. Uh, let me know if you guys think you know who it is. Okay, I got another fat stack of tokens right there. Okay, Surge is now at 100 trophies. Okay, this is how I've been doing pretty much all of my trophy pushing for my power one brawlers. I'm power one. I've got four power cubes and each power cube is the equivalent of two levels. So really, I'm basically like a power nine right now, but that's a power seven and he has two power cubes and that means he's basically power 11. He's basically maxed and I have to just really hope that, oh, that that happens, that I can escape and pick up power cubes and wait for somebody unsuspecting. So now I'm basically a power 13 as it would be. And I, I actually have more power than this guy does. So I can actually hold my own as long as it doesn't come to like gadgets and star powers. Oh, that was super lucky. <laughs> well, not, no, that was totally skill. That was calculated. So we gained another 10 trophies. We're really close to 500 on bow. This is the hardest part though, because he's a power seven and I have to outplay him in order for me to actually get any power cubes to start with. And sometimes that happens where I outplay him, but I still end up dying. Oh, that candle was in the way. Come on. <laughs> you guys saw. Honestly, one of the best strategies that you can do, even though it's boring, maybe not even very fun, is to just hide in a bush and just wait for other people to kill each other in showdown. It's, you know, it gains trophies. We'll just say that. And once that happens, it's just you and one other person. You can run into the center, see how many power cubes they have and whether or not you have a chance. Most of the time, you don't, but you do gain trophies. It might not be the most impressive way to gain trophies, but you do gain them. And like that, Bo is at 500 trophies. It honestly takes way longer than I would like it to, but we're there and we did it without upgrading Bo at all. And uh, Rosa is at 500 trophies and that concludes my pushing for today. Okay, today is uh, day 32. That's, well, I don't know what it is, but I'm happy to be here. <laughs> exactly half of my brawlers are at 500 trophies and the other half are below 500 trophies. With five of them being very much below 500 trophies, I keep on going back to Gene. Like I could push him so easily, but I, I just am hoping that duels will come back. Same thing with Stu at 362 and Penny at 462. I'm also really struggling to figure out exactly how I want to spend my gold right now. I could get B's gadget or her star power. I could upgrade another brawler. It's honestly like a lot harder than I thought it would be to figure out which brawlers I'm going to upgrade and like I desperately want more gold. There's no way I'm going to do this, but like I, I would want this gold. Also, even though I'm not buying anything, you got to put Kokaris in the Brawl Star shop, right? <laughs> it's interesting being such an experienced player and already hitting decision paralysis with this. I know which brawlers I want to upgrade. The question is which order and our gadgets and star power is better to spend my gold on than actually upgrading my brawlers. So I got some thinking to do. In the meantime, I'm doing some of my dailies there. 530 tokens. There's another 310 tokens. This is your weekly reminder to do your uh, uh, math maker voting every single day. I like solo showdown the most because you can just run in and die and then immediately be done. It's actually really fantastic. That was terrible. I'm not voting yes for that one. Okay, that is the last of my dailies. Penny's now at 500 trophies. I know I just said I wasn't going to push her, but I actually need to complete a quest in knockout and she was really my only good option. And I unlocked a couple of rewards today. This was actually from yesterday. Max is going up a little bit. We got some power points. We got some chroma credits back to zero for chroma credits, but that's just fine. And for my final trick today, a brawler will magically turn to 500 trophies. Ta-da! Nita's now 500 trophies. I wish it were that easy. It is day 33. Today's a wonderful Saturday and we got 10 free power points in the, in the shop. So that's, that's very nice and useful. We also have big game, which I'm going to play with um, Surge. <laughs> well, I'm a power one Surge here and I'm facing off against a bunch of Mandy's who are at least power seven. So this is probably not going to go very well. 
Okay, the Frank finally got a stun on me. Doesn't matter. I actually won that as a power one surge. That was great. Look at that. They're all power fives and sevens. We got 320 of tokens from that for completing quests too. That's great. After beating the quest with surge, I swapped over to Jean because Jean's power 10 and I'm at like 140 trophies. So it should be pretty easy. Power 10 Jean at 140 trophies <laughs> as the boss. That is, that is actually disgusting. That's a little unfair actually. <laughs> okay, that was our final win right there for big game. Getting 120 tokens. We are are very close to our next rank. Okay, I just used up the final four tokens that I had and I am three tokens away. <laughs> no more quests available, but if you sort by closest next to rank, then you can choose a brawler that's really close to the next rank and every single time you rank up, you get 10 tokens. See, gain six trophies on bull, gain some tokens, and now we got our final reward. This is actually, we gained three rewards for today. That's actually really fantastic. So we've got some gems. Very nice, saving those up. I haven't shouted that out enough. We got some gold and some more credits going toward max. And just like that, Gray is magically at 500 trophies. So that's nice. Welcome to day 35. This is the final, I didn't, oh, oops, I did it wrong. Oh, I messed it up, oh, it's so sad. But what is not sad is free 90 credits for the Lunar New Year freebie. That is so awesome. I love that we're getting closer to max. Oh, there's a common pin for nine gems. Don't do it, people, don't do it. We are going to get the free 60 token doublers though. Now I wasn't able to record yesterday, but I did attempt to push Jackie to 500 trophies. You notice that she's only at 413. That's because pushing Jackie at power one is pure torture. It's awful. People already pick on Jackie in solo showdown. And when you're power one, there is almost nothing you can do. It took me half an hour to push 13 trophies. It was so bad. So I don't know when duels are coming back. Oh, we got basketball. That's cool. Uh, but I'm waiting for them for sure to push her because that was awful. Since it's the final day of the week, I have to push to 10,000 trophies today. And I'm so excited. Okay, while I'm pushing, I want to talk about why 10,000 trophies is such a big deal to me and really to any player, okay? First of all, 10,000 trophies means that Cheap Kairos is no longer like a noob account, okay? In fact, I spoke with Frank once and he said that only 50% of players are actually more than 10,000 trophies. So like, that's a big deal. I don't know if that's still true while recording this video, but at least at one point in time, that was impressive. More important than that though, it's the final time that you actually get a big stack of credits on the trophy road. Afterwards, all the trophy road rewards are like, pretty like they're mediocre okay the trophy road kind of stops being a stable resource for like upgrading and unlocking your brawlers and progression slows down dramatically griff is now at 500 trophies and we unlocked a spray which is actually pretty cool and we're only 70 trophies away from the goal 10,000 trophies now back to what we were saying because progression is slowing down past 10,000 trophies honestly i probably won't be releasing a new episode every single week in this series like i have up until now okay i want to make sure that every single episode is just as good as possible. And that means that I might have to wait until I actually have enough content to show you. I know some of you guys don't wanna wait longer, but honestly, I'm actually kind of excited about that because it means that I don't have to push so hard every single day. Since the day I created this account, I have pushed an average of 285 trophies every single day. That's not sustainable. I'm not gonna be able to do that every day. And I genuinely mean it. This is like some of the most fun I've had playing Brawl Stars in such a long time. It's been so much fun, but keeping up with that pace, uh, I don't think it will be fun forever. So I'm mostly gonna focus on completing my dailies and I'll try to keep up with my 100 trophy minimum push every single day, but I might even skip that sometimes. Ultimately, my main goal is to just get my rewards every day so that I can focus on upgrading Brawlers for Masters League once the club actually gets there eventually. Oh, this is it. Colette, you are the one. How does it feel? You just got me to 10,000 trophies. I feel bad for picking on that Colette, but not too bad because I can't believe it, guys. 10,000 trophies in 35 days. It has happened. Oh, it feels so good to set a big goal like that and accomplish it. Plus, we got that 920 credits. It's a little unfortunate that we got so many and it's not enough to actually get my next Mythic Brawler, but we are so much closer and this will definitely happen in the next episode. Whether it's Max, Mortis, or Terra, let me know who you think it is in the comment section below. Even though I pretty much said I was definitely gonna go with Max. <laughs> and now that this week is done, it is time for us to collect all of our resources and actually spend them to upgrade some brawlers. It is still my priority to 
upgrade the best brawlers that I can for Club League, which is like this main five plus Stu. Because eventually we're going to need those strong brawlers for Masters League and Club League, which uh, we're actually going to be starting back over in Bronze 1. <laughs> Many of you guys will know that my best friend Lex actually started his own free-to-play series as well. So we've moved everybody from the Kairos Bandits over to the free-to-play Bandits, where both Lex and I will be in the club. And the same rules are going to apply, so you can't have more trophies than I have in order to join the club. This will put us back two weeks, which is really unfortunate, but I made a stupid mistake when I made the Kairos Bandits. I left Family Friendly on for chat, which was an awful mistake, because you can't say anything like Discord, which is essential, or YouTube, which is like, hello, you guys are watching right now on YouTube. And honestly, it has been driving me nuts the past couple of weeks. So starting a new club with Lex honestly just makes sense. Okay, I noticed that I can just squeeze in one more reward before I actually upgrade my brawlers, which will be helpful because I, I want that gold. I voted for the map maker three times, which gave me an additional 30 tokens, and all I need now is just eight more. Okay, it wasn't much, but it was enough for me to rank Ape It up, and that gave me 10 more tokens, and that is all all that I need in order for me to unlock some sweet, sweet gold. Oh, give me the gold. I will take all the gold. Now the very important question, how am I gonna spend my resources? I have more gold than PowerPoints, but I'm actually not worried about PowerPoints at all. I am desperately wanting as much gold as I possibly can have, and it's very difficult to decide how to spend it. And I have tons of options. I could upgrade Gene and get a star power and then try and get a gear so that he's completely maxed out. I could also upgrade like 8-Bit or Bow, who are competitive options to power nine and like get a gadget. I also have B who's power nine doesn't have a gadget or a star power or I could upgrade Stu to power nine so I can get a star power form. I could also take four of my power one brawlers and upgrade them all to power seven and get a gadget for them. There's so many different ways that you could split it and as a free to put player it's really important to actually think all this through. Now this might not be everybody's number one goal on a brand new account but my number one goal is to get ready for Masters League in Club League. In order for me to be truly ready I need 12 brawlers that are somewhat competitive for Club League because otherwise there's a chance that somebody might ban the brawler or they might pick the brawler. But I also want to be getting the best abilities possible for right now, and that's why I'm not actually getting one of B's gadgets, because they're both just fine. It's the same reason why Gene still doesn't have a star power, because both of his star powers are just fine. I'll get their abilities eventually, but for right now, I can wait until my account's in a better spot. And I thought about this a lot, and I think that my best bet is to actually upgrade Stu to power 9, and then get his Gaso Heal star power, because I do think this is the better option out of the two. And now I'm only 900 gold away from getting B's insta B load star power, which will be my next bet. After that, I've outlined a very specific process that I'm going to follow to get my account ready for my Masters League, but I'll explain that in a future episode. But part of that is going to be selecting my next brawler that I'm going to upgrade. And I already mentioned 8-bit or bow. It's between those two at the moment, possibly even Griff, but I'm gonna have you guys guess which brawler I'm gonna upgrade next. So let me know down below. Now let's review where the account is at after week five. According to brawlify.com, I gained 1,300 168 trophies this week. I'm at 10,018 total trophies. In this video, I pushed 12 brawlers to 500 trophies and 11 of them were power one, which was very hard to do. I'm really looking forward to duels coming back. And I've got 24 out of 64 brawlers. Plus, we're actually very close to our next mythic brawler. And in the next episode, I will be able to start unlocking my first legendary, which is going to be 50% off. Look at that. That's awesome. First brawler discount. I'm having so much fun and I want to know if you guys are still enjoying this series. The next episode is going to be right here if it is already out. Otherwise, there will be a different video. Make sure you subscribe so you do not miss the next episode. And you can also check out another video right here. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by. We will see you in Brawl Stars.